Constantia Belisco here from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. I would like to demonstrate for you now uh, another modulated light experiment. Now you'll remember I demonstrated uh, BPSK31 using modulated light with a light emitting diode about one meter away from a photovoltaic cell which picked up the modulated light from that little LED, a little Radio Shack blue LED with a lens on it. I showed you all that stuff in those videos just a couple of days ago, I think. And I showed you how the program called Hamscope 1.56 will decode that phase shift keying. Well, there's another mode that this particular program will work with, and that mode is known as MFSK16, Multiple Frequency Shift Keying, and I believe 16 refers to the number of tones that the signal has. Well, of course, right now you're not seeing any meaningful text because <laughs> what we've got here is simply my voice, and this thing is trying to decode my voice, and it's not having much luck, as you can clearly see. This is the waterfall display. I described all of how this program works. MFSK16, the interesting thing about it is that it works between two frequency limits and you can see these vertical dashed lines right here. They represent the upper and the lower frequency limits of this MFSK signal. Now presumably we have aut uh, automatic frequency control here so it should tune it in. Uh, the, the second receiver, 2AFC, I'm not trying to receive two signals at once, so I'm not, that isn't going to matter here. This, uh, this program will receive two signals at once, though. Hamscope will receive two signals at once in different windows. I believe you pull down this second window here to get the second received signal. Uh, in, with PSK, I had to reverse the polarity, but here it appears that I don't have to do that. Now, hopefully, we're going to get we're going to get a, a good result. Uh, I have 1,578 hertz. That's the lower limit here, and my transmitter says 1,560, 1,559. This uh, receiver uh, computer is using Windows 8 whereas the transmitting computer an old Toshiba laptop is using Windows XP. Uh, the program works on both of those operating systems, although it seems to more of the functions seem to work on uh, Windows XP. I think originally it was designed for Windows 98, so uh, it's, it still runs, but it kinda gets a little bit buggy on Windows 8. But anyway, let's see if we can decode this. Now I uh, tried to pre-tune that before I started up this video, so hopefully we will have some luck. I'll start up the transmitter and then try to send something. Look at that. Now see how it's the text is coming in bursts. It's considerably delayed. What I sent was the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog 01234567891. Well, it appears to have missed the 9. Let me try this again. Something else here. Now, th this thing has a way of idling by sending seemingly random bursts of tones and I don't understand exactly why that is why it does that but uh, someone who knows more about MFSK 16 could probably tell me that I just think this is a cool uh, cool digital mode
now is the time for all good citizens to bombard the ears of their representatives. I believe that statement speaks for itself. I will not tell you what my particular ranting and raving will be, because I really don't know yet. <laughs> I'm getting a little old for ranting and raving anyway. I'll just gently make a suggestion, like resign. Well, not necessarily. I mean, we got some good ones. We got some good ones. Here in South Dakota, we got uh, we got three pretty good ones. Uh, and uh, so we could do worse. Anyway, that's uh, getting political, and I, that's a dangerous thing to do on the Internet. I didn't tell you, though, what my preferences are or anything like that. All I told you was that MFSK 16 works on ham scope, and it works over a light-emitting diode modulated light transmitter and receiver at least over a distance of one meter on the top of an old upright piano in the nerd cave of a complete nerd ham radio operator W1GV in Lead, South Dakota, L-E-A-D, near Deadwood, the Black Hills, United States of America. Have fun. Build the circuits I described in the other videos and check this out. Expand on it. Bounce the light off clouds. Bounce the light off distant stars and planets and interstellar nebulae. Dark matter. So long.